was gory. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Hannah. I'm a vocal coach. I react to really fun things. Today, me and my sick voice are going to react to Sabrina Carpenter's music video for Feather. Now, my knowledge of Sabrina Carpenter kind of ends at, I'm pretty sure she was a Disney Channel star. Did she do something on Disney Channel? I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. And I've seen videos on TikTok of her singing the chorus of the song when she opened for Taylor Swift in the South American tour. Is that right? I don't know. I'm not going to look that up. And she's just being like the pinnacle of like a pop star princess in her like spark blue outfits oh my god literally obsessed but all I've heard is the chorus so I saved my reaction for you guys I've heard there's some controversy with this music video so let's see what we think <laughs> he was just okay shut up she's about to pull up in a pink hearse <laughs> that is so cool I love this song. Got you blocked after this and after thought. Finally cut you Okay, pause. The one thing I will look up, how tall is Sabrina Carpenter? Sabrina Carpenter is 4'11". Okay, I knew she had to be pint-sized because she's always wearing like nine inch heels. How does she walk in those heels? I have no idea. But this is already so iconic. I love the, <laughs> I love the boys getting hit by the bus. <laughs> We love that. That's so fun. It does kind of remind me of Regina George and Mean Girls. Even though it's not a bus, it's a truck. It just felt like unexpected like that. I've heard her sing the chorus of this live, but I haven't heard the song. So I don't know if it's going to change, but she's singing this first chorus really, really kind of light and floaty. Was that on purpose for the song Feather? So right here, it's a lot more in her chest voice. Okay, so she's even adding a little bit of air on the eye. So instead of I slam the door, it's hi slam the door. It's really, really floaty. I think it's really pretty. It's pretty contrast with the chorus. I'm hoping at the end she gets stronger. We'll keep going. <laughs> I really like the little shrug she does right here. <laughs> she's just like... I'm obsessed with her. She's so cute. On the top, she is singing a really light head voice. It's almost a falsetto. There's a, there's a lot of air there. Falsetto, as we know, is a lighter version of a head voice. And we can all access that sound. And a pop princess like Sabrina Carpenter accesses it a lot just for fun, for contrast, for style, all of that stuff. I'm going to give her the credit as the artist that she is singing in a lighter place on this because it's called Feather. I feel so much lighter, like a feather. It makes sense for her to be like really nice and floaty up there. What I really appreciate about it as she comes down to the bottom. I feel so much lighter like a feather with you off my... She's gaining more weight in her vocal folds. They're getting a little thicker and that sounds really nice. And also I'll mention that that like really long descending line is deceptively hard. When a singer like Sabrina sings that, it can sound very effortless. Like, oh, that's so easy. No, that's actually pretty difficult. She's going through her first passage and she's doing that really well. I love her. So good, not caring where you are tonight. I did not see that coming, guys. I didn't, I did not. Oh my God, we got gruesome. But I mean, I guess we started with a pink hearse and a funeral. So maybe I knew that like men were gonna die in this <laughs> music video, but that was gory. No, 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 no got men. So sorry for your loss. <laughs> Okay, so yes, that is the only part that I have seen her sing live, but also it is my favorite part because she just does that cute like over the shoulder, like I'm so sorry for your loss and then struts down the stage. It's just so iconic. Also men, gross, gross, ew. Although that is the guy. I can't remember what his name is, but he was in zombies, right? I reacted to all three of the zombies movies. So if you wanna watch those, click over here. God, she's so cute. When she does this face, it's so funny. She's just like, 
<laughs> I love her. I already want bangs because of Taylor Swift. And now she makes me want bangs even more. Tell me not to get bangs, guys. Really, I don't think that they would work for me. Please, please tell me not to do it. I do want to say she sings, your signals are mixed, da 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 back in her chest voice. It sounds really beautiful. And then when she sings, you match every stereotype, she floats up into her head voice again. So chest voice here. And then lighter up on the top. I love all her outfits. So I believe this is the controversial part was her dancing in a Catholic church. I am not going to comment on whether that's okay or not. I'm just going to say she looks really good while she's doing it. <laughs> So I do think that deep in our subconscious, it's every girl's dream to go to a funeral dressed like that, like black veil, sunglasses, very mysterious. Stay with me. This will connect someone show up to the funeral at the beginning in the pilot episode of Pretty Little Liars <laughs> dressed like that. And they're like, who is that? And that's like starts the mystery right? Doesn't that happen? That just reminded me of that. I do believe that she sings with some more like belty power in some of her live performances. And now I want to find them right here. She looks so good. Okay, so that's the moment I was talking about when she struts down the stage. She looks great. But she is definitely singing with a lot more power live than she is on the recording. I think that that is a great choice. I wish that we got a little bit more of that in the music video, to be honest. Even though I don't really know anything about Sabrina Carpenter, everything that I'm seeing, I'm really loving. So if you guys have any suggestions of other things that I should react to from her, please let me know because I am brand new to this. Also over on Patreon, I'm now doing extra bonus reactions in addition to the extended videos, the longer videos that I've been posting for a while. So every month my patrons get to submit a singer that they'd like to see me react to or someone that they think that I would like that maybe isn't YouTube friendly. I couldn't make a whole video on it and I've been having so much fun doing that. So if you would like to see extra content and support what I do, I'd appreciate it. Patreon.com slash Hannah Bales and like and subscribe, please. If you can, it really helps me out, supports me and my channel and let me know what else you'd like me to react to. I'm gonna be trying to upload more regularly on a consistent schedule in 2024. That is my big goal. So you guys, when you ask me, what's your upload schedule? I can't just say, I'm gonna have one, okay? So I need your ideas. Please drop them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.